In this house, there are a lot of hair implements and there's a lot of hair. My daughter and I are constantly brushing our hair, styling our hair. You see hair on the bathroom floor and of course hair in our hair tools. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can remove hair from your hairbrush and get them clean. Just a quick heads up. We have a newsletter called the dirty dish. It comes out every two weeks and you can sign up for it by clicking the link in the description box below. We go into all sorts of cleaning tips and tricks, different topics that you might be curious about as it pertains to cleaning and organizing. And of course, we share weird cleaning news and the occasional cleaning joke. You should really sign up for it. So for a natural bristle brush, you can use the bottom end of a rat tail comb to pick the hair out. Now, if you notice any gunk on the inside of the brush by the base, you can give that a quick clean with a toothbrush dipped in soapy water, but you don't want to soak this type of hairbrush. I'm using the same technique here with the end of the comb to pick out all of the hair. This is a plastic bristle brush with no beads. This one's called a tangle teaser actually, and it's pretty easy to clean because it's all one piece. But this brush, this is a wet brush. It's sort of the classic brush that we see a lot of the time. It's got that pad on the bottom and the bristles have those beads on top, which make it really hard to get dust and that difficult hair out. So I'm using the teeth of the comb to lift it as high as I can. I'm gonna use the end again just to pull out as much as possible, but this is a little bit more effortful as you can see. And I'm gonna give it a good final yank, throw that stuff in the garbage and then see what I'm working with. Now to get to this finer dust and grit and dirt, I'm using a clean spoolie. That's like a mascara wand end. You can pick them up at a makeup store. And once all of the dust is out from there, I'm gonna soak the brushes, the plastic tools, actually just the comb and the plastic hair brushes. I'm using a little bit of baby soap here, a couple of pumps and some warm water. Obviously the wood one is not going in. I'm gonna let these soak for about 30 minutes. Now, once that's done, I'm using a clean cleaning toothbrush just to brush the base and the bristles of the hairbrush to remove any gunk. That's dead skin cells, hair oil, product, it all gets built up. And if you're using that brush to brush your hair, you're just redepositing that greasy, dirty stuff back onto your head. The comb, mine definitely needed some TLC. I saw a lot of dry shampoo in there. Now for the wet brush, I had a lot of work to do and you know, I couldn't even get all of the dust out, but I did a really good job. I found that after using the toothbrush and giving it a rinse, I blotted it clean on a towel several times and that helped to lift the dust off. So now that we've taken your hairbrushes from gross to glorious, that brings me to this week's comment question, which is what is more gross to you hair? on a bathroom floor or in a sink or hair in your food? Let me know in the comments down below. For me, hands down hair in my food. I lose my appetite if I see hair. If it's mine, I can deal with it. If it's someone else's, if it's curly and short, I, can't, I have to excuse myself from the table. So let me know in the comments down below. If cleaning brushes are on your mind, you might also wanna know how to clean your vacuum and all of its attachments. You can check out that video right over there. If you wanna learn about Maker's Clean microfiber products, you can click this button right here and you can click this button to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.